My name is Christian. This happened three years ago, and I was living in a dormitory with my best friend, Miko. I was a civil engineering student at that time, and Miko was a pharmacy student. The dormitory where we were staying had nine rooms overall. Our room was quite small, but enough space for two people. The kitchen was at the opposite end of the entrance door, and we had no fire exit. The restroom was just at the left side of the kitchen, and the bed that we even shared together was on the right side. And there was a table in the middle where we used to eat or make it as a study table. Our dormitory had rumors about ghosts in there, but we hadn't encountered any in our two years stay. So one day on Friday morning, before going to school, we decided to put a hot cup of coffee in the sink. I know that was such a stupid thing, but we were curious about it. If this became empty when we came back from the school, then this is a haunted dormitory, I told him. Then we left for school, and soon I forgot about the coffee thing because I was quite busy with the calculus examination. After that, when I came back to the dorm, around 7 p.m., I saw Miko was sleeping in his bed. It was quite weird since usually when I come back to the room, he was either playing games or cooking in the kitchen. But it didn't bother me since it was a midterm season and I thought that he might just be exhausted. Suddenly, I remembered the mug of coffee that we put in the sink earlier in the morning. I put my bag on the table and headed straight to the sink. I saw the coffee was still full. So I said, told you, there's no ghost. So I poured out the hot coffee and washed the cup. Right after I washed the cup, my phone inside my pocket vibrated. Someone was calling me. I looked at the phone, and it was Miko. I stared at the bed where Miko was still lying and sleeping. I shouted, hey man, why are you calling me? But he didn't respond. So I thought inside my head, did he leave his phone at school? I answered the call, hello? To my shock and disbelief, it was Miko. It was his voice, and he said, Dude, just eat without me if you're already hungry. I'm still at the mall buying our food supply for next week. I was frozen. I was so confused and terrified at the time until I got the courage to say, Are you serious? He said, Yeah, sorry, but I'm almost done at the counter. I'm just going to drive home now if you can wait. Let's eat together. Bye. And hung up. I was there standing still in the kitchen and couldn't move while still looking at the man in the bed. Then I realized the cup of coffee. We left it in the morning. When I went to the dorm, it was not empty as we expected, but it was still hot. It should have cooled down. I looked back at the sink for one second and to my terror, when I looked again at the bed, he was no longer there. I screamed, ran out of the room, and waited for my best friend. When Miko was finally home after 40 minutes, I told him what happened and saw his confused, scared reaction. After that night, we decided to transfer to another dormitory, and fortunately, nothing happened anymore in the new place. But I will never forget this memory, forever. <laughs>